it's tempting to say the problem solving is kind of trivial, but nonetheless, it drives what you do. I'm Frank Stella. The idea of the smoke rings was that it had more to do with the changes and a kind of direction and fluidity. And this is done by hand, and this is the way sculpture's been made for, I guess, centuries, as they say. Normally, if you were a real artist, I guess, this, this, this would be smooth over and it would look like those, but uh, I liked it this way, and so we left it. And I finish before any of the other artists do because I haven't cut off the gates and I haven't uh, smoothed the surfaces. Painting was a surface and then the surfaces moved and then it became something else. It became colored relief or whatever, but it's all part of the same thing. Actually, the very large paintings, we didn't do them vertically or against the wall. We, we did them uh, uh, as much the same as uh, Pollock and Helen Frank, all the people who painted on the floor. Uh, but we painted on the floor with a, uh, a bridge over it. So we could paint around the edges and then paint in the middle by painting down. You start in one place and then you end in that same place where you started. If it's a single concentric square painting, it's pretty much what it is. If it's a double version of two concentric squares side by side, it's obviously some kind of play on binocular vision. It's about the way you see things. This is what we do now, the kind of fabricating we do now. Well, these somehow, I, I got over the worrying about my name. And so we, we, we lately we're making a few stars. There you have an open form with wood. And there you have a closed form in carbon fiber. It's basically a topological problem of surfaces. It's hard not to see the paintings from the past that you like in terms of what you do, no matter what kind of artist you are. It's a glass piece that my mother made. We have a couple of ideas for it. It's a nice piece, actually. I had an idea, a pretty solid idea about what I did and where it came from, which was basically making paintings that were 20th century paintings. That wasn't so complicated and, and you know, it was really obvious. The level of interest and sense of touch is the same, but the purpose of the touch is different. The touch doesn't have to work with representing something. It's allowed to be by itself. But it's still the same touch. There's no difference, in my humble opinion. 